Good evening, guys. This is Dr. Paul once again. Thank you for taking your time this evening to visit our channel and uh, watch this video. As always, visit our website at uh, www.usmlevideos.net. That is www.usmlevideos.net, where you can browse through hundreds of videos. Our videos are simple, straight to the point and uh, we discuss only the most important topics for USMLA. Tonight I want to just stress one important point that is very simple. There is a, an increased prevalence of iron deficiency anemia. There is an increased deficiency of iron concentrations in patients with restless leg syndrome. There have been many, many studies that have done in the recent past that have showed the correlation between iron concentration and the severity of the symptoms of restless leg syndrome. For example, if the deficiency of iron is mild, the symptoms of RLS are mild. If the deficiency of iron is severe, is profound, then the symptoms of RLS are also very, very profound. And in the same study, it has been observed that patients who have been treated with uh, iron therapy, the, the ferrous sulfate, their symptoms have improved tremendously. So definitely there is a correlation between iron deficiency and uh, restless leg syndrome. The other thing I want to emphasize is whenever you are investigating a patient with restless leg syndrome, you should check their serum ferritin and iron saturation levels. That's very, very important. You might, in fact, get a question like this. A patient has intense desire to move his legs because his legs are painful. And you have been thinking about making the diagnosis of restless leg syndrome in this patient. What diagnostic investigations do you do? Number one, CT chest. Number two, MRI brain. Number three, liver function test. Number four, serum ferritin. The answer is number four. You should check serum ferritin and iron saturation levels in these patients. Serum ferritin, if it is low, then definitely there's an indication that this patient has this cause, iron deficiency, as the cause for restless leg syndrome. And you should give these patients the supplementation therapy with ferrous sulfates. So those are the very, very important points. In fact, uh, in patients who have less iron concentration, low serum ferritin in their blood, it has been shown that their sleep quality is less. In fact, polysomnography showed that they have disturbed sleeps through the night. So iron deficiency is a very, very thing, even if you do not see anemia. Even if you do not suspect anemia in a patient, you still should check their serum ferritin levels and iron saturation levels. So basically the point is iron deficiency is seen in restless legs syndrome. That's the important point I wanted to emphasize this night. So uh, if you have any additional points on this matter, just feel free to post it on our website at uh, www.usmlevideos.net that is www.usmlevideos.net and thank you you have a good night